Like welcome to the Words Widget Workshop. In this workshop, we will reflect on how to build a small DOM widget. We will look into how to link your files, how to create a function, how to test that function, and then how to create a factory function, and also how to change your widget to work that factory function. In the end, we'll reflect on what we've done. So what we will be doing, we'll be doing the following. So create a widget that allows users to enter a sentence and then display the number of words in the sentence as the user is typing. The widget will allow users to enter a max word limit for the sentence and it used to be shown a warning message then if there are too many words in the sentence that they entered. So looking at this, to start off we will need to create a widget that allows users to enter a sentence and then display the number of words in the sentence. And then we want to do that as the user is typing. So for this we will have to use a special event, which we call the key up event, that will be fired when a user is typing in the text box. The widget should then also have a word limit. So and it should be able to use should be able to enter that word limit. And then that word limit should be used to show a warning message if the word limit was reached as the user typed in too many words. So let's look at the data flow of the, this words widget. So the data flow is as follows. First of all, the user will need to enter a sentence in the text box. And then there will be an event that's triggered on the text box. And the, um, the event in the event that's fired, the sentence will be read. The sentence is then processed. The number of words that is entered is returned from this function that was processing the input. And then ultimately, the output needs to be displayed on the screen. Um, so for us to be able to do that, let's start off and do that. I'm going to start here with a new folder and I'm going to say yeah, M make the words widget CD words words widget and then ultimately what I want to do I want to say touch index.html create a new file in which I'm going to write my widget and I want to say touch words.js and we're going to touch words.dom that's where I ultimately get all my DOM code also create a test folder and then in the test folder what I want is I want to say touch test slash index dot HTML so that's my tests and then I also want to create in this test folder I want to create I want to create a test so I'm going to say touch words dot test dot JS Okay, so now I've created a few files. I haven't done much in them, but let's open up VS Code and get going. So what do we have so far? So what I want to start initially, I want to start off with testing. So if I go back to my presentation, so the thing we'll do initially is we'll start with the first part. We'll create the widget that allows the user to enter a sentence and then display the number of words in the sentence as the user is typing. So that's the first part that we're working on. And um, we'll start off by testing the function. So I've created some test folders already, and we want to create a function called word counter and a test in the test folder. What we want to do, okay, so let's have a look. So what I want to do is I want to create a test in my test folder. So in this thing here, I'm going to create a function I want to call word counter. So let's make this a bit bigger. And then I have a word counter, and the word counter is going to take the sentence. Okay, so that's the first part. So now what I want to do as well, I want to create a test on, on this side. So what I need to do, I need to configure my testing. So I'll go back here in this, I have a link here. So if I click on this, let's look here. So what we need to do to configure the test, I need to go down here. I'm going to copy this from the Mocha website. Copy that. And then I'm going to put this in my index.html for my testing. I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to link things up. So now what I need to do, I've got words.test.js. So I've got words.test.js. I've got that. 
And then what I also need, so I also need to link in the file in which I'm going to be writing my function. So let's do that. So in this case, we have words, words.j. So what you need to do now, you need to be careful now. So as you can see, your test and the actual function we're testing is not in the same folder. So we need to go one folder up and reference words.js, which is a function we're ultimately going to be writing our test. Then we have words.test.js. Then one other small thing we need to do is we import in chai, but we also need to make the assert word keyword available so we can use that in our test. Do that chai dot assert. So now I should be able to use assert in my tests. And then let's have a quick look. So if I go to my next with HTML file, nothing happening there. So if I now gonna go and I say open test and I do index.html, let's see what's happening. So nothing's happening. But mocker.run there. Um, don't know why we're getting that. Let's have a look. Mocker.run. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to go into our test. This we want to go in here, we're going to say describe. We're going to say here my words widget. Okay, we go here, we say function. And then we look at that. And then we say it. Okay, or z. It. it should be able to. First thing I want to test you be able to return the number number of words in a sentence. So I've got a very long description here, but let's have a look. So now I'm going to do here function. Let's just go here. And now I want to go assert dot equal. What was that? Assert dot equal. And then I want to do one comma two, so I save that, looking at this thing here, okay, why do I get mocker.run in here, let's have a look in, um, it's not error here, widgets.test, mocker.run, so let's have a look here, where do I have mocker.run, so I've got this in here, okay, so this thing is sitting, okay, so it's script, so I've got a typo here, so this thing should send its own script tag. So be careful when you put your um, when you add your files, you don't override things. So now this should be better. So if I go here, okay, so now I've got at least one failing test. So now we are ready to start testing our function.